the DIY solar homestead. Well, the neighbor came up and he brought his big ass chainsaw. So that's amazing. So now I got a bunch of little chairs to sit around the bonfire. He cut it all up. He took a notch off one of these, that one, and he brought his industrial weed whacker. So I ran that around. So we got some improvements. He even got those logs back there. It's beautiful. Look, I got new chairs. <laughs> so we got to put this back up. And I got to show you something else. Since the chickens are still small enough to get through this electric fence, I found some netting. I haven't opened it up yet. I just got done trimming, weed whacking. And I got to go all the way around with the weed whacker. I did pretty good. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm shaking from holding that thing too. It was very powerful. So. I think I'm going to cut this down halfway and then I'm thinking I'm going to zip tie it across the bottom. Or I'll wait till Friday and go get me a, a big steel fence that the chickens cannot get through or the predators. You call that good. So I don't know what to think about for temporary if I was to move a fence every several days. So that way they can free range this area. Maybe this area over here another day, uh, five, six, eight days. So then over there for several days. And I just want to move them around. That's what all the homesteaders are doing. There's a reason for that. I think it's a parasite situation. So that's what I want to do. So uh, the fence is like a hundred and so. I got a house payment coming out here pretty soon, so like like prepper prepper nurse want to say one day at a time. You just plan and prepare. So I'm planning. Yeah, the, uh, the weed whip that he has. I think he said he paid two fifty for that. Well, I was looking at some for three fifty today. So if I'm gonna have a farm one day, I want to be fully prepared. And the chainsaws I'm looking at are four to seven hundred dollars. And most homesteader farmers got two or three chainsaws, three different sizes, for little limbs and branches all the way up to big trees for firewood and stuff. So now I've been looking for a long time something, a chop block. So now I got a chop block. So what a blessing. He usually gives me twenty dollars to do the drain over there with this pressure washer and today I gave us twenty dollars back <laughs> because now I got all this free wood it's his trees but it's on my property and he helped me with my yard with my with my lawnmower being down down so anyway I'm gonna wrap it up I'm gonna extend this out and let them out they Lately, they're not getting out of the, fe the yellow electric fence, so that's cool. And they're going back inside the uh, chicken tractor every night, so that's it's going to be fine. And if one does get out while I'm around, it's easy to show him back in or her, or what have you. So they're uh, they're learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have a nice sunny day.